this thing of seeing blue mm. it's addictive so yeah. here's what happens yeah that like one like, a lot of people are avoiding yeah. which one uh, copy trading oh yeah what oh, they can trade god <laughs> <laughs> guys this is mm. education mm. contract size yeah we don't know these things like mm. uh, i mean you know what's a trend line you know what's a stochastic yeah you know support and resistance you don't know contract size i i think the most time i've ever taken that break from trading was like eight days <laughs> that's not a break <laughs> that's <a> recess <laughs> <laughs> the clients create the ib business and i'll tell you why Yeah, Ish. you know, you, you actually mentioned something so powerful. You know, yeah. I, I, I want us right now, basically, to to see. Okay, so we're all in the in the industry right now, the sure safety uh, industry right now. Can we quickly point out how many ways are there to make money? I I just want to count because you said if you go yeah, and let's, get it, let's, let's because I think a lot of people don't really yeah. understand yes. from outside when people look at our industry, yeah. like mm. oh, it's cost money. People make money. This industry from, is huge. It's massive, and people do not understand. Yeah. Let's list the ways. Yeah. Um, okay, we'll all. Yeah, well, yeah. Some yeah. <laughs> but more okay. must come from you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I know one way yep. is uh, I think this is probably one of the highest paid uh, positions is the key individual. Oh yes. Uh, so key indiv- uh, yeah, being a KI yeah. key individual is guys you can't have a broker without a key individual. Yeah. There's so many brokers but they're all key individuals mm. and sometimes the the key individuals somebody who studied I think they've got the they write exams with mm-hmm. the uh with the body, uh, the RE exam RE1 uh, yeah. RE1 yeah. RE specifically yes. mm. yeah the RE the RE1 exam and then obviously FSCA gets involved with that and then they give mm-hmm. you a license and then you can lease out your license to a broker yep. and i know the, I, i don't i don't know figures but i know the good oh, the nice figures very yeah, nice figures nice <laughs> very yeah so yeah. Uh, key individual yep. uh being an hey, ip as of quite tell as you're saturating the industry let them go right to the iris first yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah no we have to open up the industry yeah, yeah, yeah no, 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 mm. okay so uh key individual uh i know being an ib but wait being an ib how many streams for just being an ib Yo. That one's got multiple streams. <laughs> Now, exactly. as an IP, yeah. one of the misconceptions, you know, there's guys who actually are very much against the notion of being an IP. Yeah. And okay, I understand and respect your ideals, but look at it like this. Let's say you're teaching a group of 200 people, right? Those people, at the end of the day, they need to trade on a live market. Mm. They will still pay spread. The mm. broker still makes money from the spread and commission, yeah. right? Yeah. You... Being an IP, actually, you adding value. You can actually pay rebates back to these guys. Mm. You know, let's say if you say I don't want to make money off of this thing. No, I think it's you know it's gonna tarnish my image. Then give the rebates back to your cl- clients and you know give back like that. So this is just a message to those type of people. Mm. Um, but when it comes to being an IP, I mean, obviously there's the rebate side. Um, there's what merch you can do merch as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can. We cool. spoke about the coding stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not just for IP. That's anyone, right? Yeah. But yeah. that can be part of your suite of services. You yeah. can literally have a website. Yeah. And I've seen websites like this that's got like a basket of different mm. types of EAs, risk management EAs and the likes, right? Mm. There's a lot, man. There's a lot. Graphics de- uh, graphics designing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's an opportunity not just for IBs, people outside of that space to build websites yeah. for IBs hmm. or for traders. Hmm. Maybe you're a trader and you don't know how to get your name out there. Social media management companies, digital hmm. marketing, that's also another thing, you know? There are so many things. Yeah. All right, guys, it's competition time and each episode will have three winners who will receive stylish branded Octomerge packs which include hoodie, backpack, cap, lantern, power bank, and bottle. And here's how the competition will go. Participants will need to leave correct answers in the comment section within a week from the release of this video. Winners will be selected by a randomizer among those who have fulfilled all the conditions. One, answered all questions correctly. 
left their nickname on Instagram for communication, registered in the Octa Trading app, and you're a resident of South Africa. We'll announce the videos a week after each video. If a winner is not registered in the app or lives outside of South Africa, the prize will go to another person who fulfills and meets all the conditions. What is commonly used nickname for the GBP USD currency pair? Which institution is responsible for setting the monetary policy in the Eurozone? What is the profit or loss from buying a one standard lot of the USD Japanese yen pair at 110.50 and selling it at 110.75? Users can participate in all the quizzes if they did not win in the previous week. That's true. Yeah. Uh, content creators, Yo, yeah. YouTubers, TikTok. Apparently, TikTok is a big thing right now. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, TikTok is a big thing right now. But I was actually quite curious. I know this is very outside. Just mentioning TikTok uh -huh. right now that with the ban, should oh, yes. the ban in the States actually be actually success? Should they be successful uh -huh. with banning the market from the States? Do you guys still think that TikTok will still be TikTok? Because I think that market on, in itself, it's quite a big market to uh, move from a platform. It won't be TikTok in America, but yeah. I think yeah. it can still be TikTok here. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people who subscribe locally. And yeah. I've seen it's a, the algorithms make it much easier to grow there. Yeah. Mm. I think as opposed to your other platforms, it's like a hassle. You know, you yeah. have to grind. Yeah. Mm. Uh, TikTok, you do a promotion. You do a paid promotion there, like you can get like views, likes, yeah, follows, yeah. and organic real people, not mm. this thing of farming followers. You know, yeah. there's those farms. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's just a bullying tactic, man. I think these yeah. guys they just want to monopolize this whole system. Mm. The YouTube is US. Mm. Um, what else? They just they just want their they just, hand. Yeah, like they just want their hand. Information man. wars, you know. Yeah. At the yeah. end of the day, remember there's data that's been collected and yeah. constantly. So it's information wars at the end of the day, and it's becoming a problem. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so anyway, uh, obviously mm. YouTube, uh, just being on Instagram as well can yeah. also get you paid. Yeah. Or well, content creators or whole guys. Obviously, ads. doing yeah. ads. I mean, sponsorships. Depending, like this is now if you've got a big following. Yeah. Mm. You know, you really, really like a thought leader and you have impact in the in the industry uh, that's a stage you can actually elevate mm. to and do quite well in that you know yeah yeah but i mean as a trader if like that's your only thing you can just focus on doing that for yourself and you know get necessary qualifications if you need but they'll, people will throw money at you mm. if you are skilled if you show me a two-year track record it's better than most things that yeah. you can get out there right mm. there's people who would not mind to link their account to your account as mm. you trade yeah. So, yeah. copy trading as well yeah oh, yeah the social, copy trade, social, social trading yeah, the copy social trading, trading. Yeah. 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 big space yeah, yeah. 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 a lot of people are waiting yeah. which one yeah. copy trading oh yeah what well, they can trade <laughs> <laughs> God, la, guys <laughs> Yeah. Which, but I, I personally feel like the, the, the concept of copy trading, uh, I think it, it was supposed to replace mm -hmm. signals, like giving out signals. Mm. And, I, and I feel like it's still struggling to kind of overcome the signal industry, right? Because the, in, the, obviously you have the trading industry, IB industry, then mm. you got the mini, the sub industry, the, mm -hmm. which is the signals, which has become mm. quite a profitable mm -hmm. or quite a lucrative like industry on its own, mm. which I feel like the, the sub uh, industry of copy trading was actually supposed to consume the signal industry in a sense, because right now it kind of takes out a lot of hassles because mm. when you give out signals, there's lag, there, there's whatnot. So why not just connect your accounts, people's accounts to your account? All they do is fund the accounts. And the nice thing about now is that with social trading is that you can also make rebates from that. Yeah. Mm. Charge yeah. a service fee for that. Mm. So already... You Multiple can, streams of income. Already. Like with if you <laughs> just, just work on first, be a profitable trader. Yeah then you can make even more money. You can leverage your profitability skills. Yeah, yeah. And on the note of, of IB, uh, the last thing to touch on, the most I've seen an IB make from rebates. Do you want to take a guess? Just from rebates only. Just uh, I'd like to hear your guesses. 10K US? 10K US. Yeah, I'm there. Okay. Yeah. From rebates alone? Yeah, from rebates. Ah. Uh, no, they said the most, so I just went high. <laughs> I think that's low. 
Uh, really? <laughs> let's hear. Let's hear. Uh, so you said 10k US. 10K US. US. Yeah. 20k US. 50 million rands. Sure. Some Malaysian IP. 50 million rands rebates. Monthly. No, no, not, not monthly. monthly. Oh, total. Oh, like in oh, total. Oh, in like total. in total. To but say. Steve, we have like 12 uh, months in a ma- in, in a year. <laughs> 50 divided by 12. <laughs> it's it's a it's <laughs> game, <man. laughs> like it's Like it's just to say on the other side, you see these figures. I yeah. mean. There's a sad story of this guy who, who brought in a unicorn. Um, so this guy generated, just one person, generated over 2 million rands worth of rebates, but mm. he didn't link the account under him. Or oh, he forgot to ask. Then it's like, sorry, guy. You know, yeah, I'll try again next year. So you understand, if you've got a unicorn, please don't waste that. I mean, a lot of us could do a lot with 2 million. Mm. Yeah, no, that's true. All of us, they're not all of us, not even a lot of <laughs> yeah. us. You know? But you know what yeah. I've noticed? People now, the minute the minute the trader begins to work with the broker, mm. they think that it's an agreement to make people, the followers, to blow our accounts. Mm. The, and people now are skeptical, like, okay, fine. MJ is coming, is representing Okta. What's in it for MJ? Yeah. Mm. And they're thinking MJ wants us to blow accounts. They are working behind the scenes and, 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 and all of that. So, but according to you what is it that we can make um to make people see that look uh you you as a broker you're trying to also provide value for them as much as mj can come in and say okay fine i've got free services octa is paying for those services but i'm not here to make you blow but just to say it, it's not enough mm, yeah, i think not enough. i think yeah. it's just a track record and over time mm. you know people are very skeptical and rightfully so yeah uh, they have a right to be because there are some you know p- uh, shady um things that do happen in the industry and mm. people maybe who do do those things yeah. uh, but you know on if you have a track record and your brand doesn't speak to that then over time your people see the value mm. you know because it's all in the name yeah. if you're known yeah. to be doing that it's going to spread mm. you can't you can't contain that you know mm. so i think as long as you're just adding value and it's you seeing the trading conditions are good yeah you know when i look here you know when you look to Ungobile and he's uh you entered at the same time he's in more profits he's spreads are less you know that's where it starts becoming a problem mm. now like uh so you know there are places where sometimes they do markup spreads yeah, on your yeah. clients this is not a good practice you mm. know uh, but generally speaking i think if you're seeing the value and you're not having issues with the platform mm. it, it now comes to are you are you profitable or not you know yeah yeah at the end of yeah, the day no, yeah that's so true yeah you know just thinking about just influence as a whole right yep. now especially in the in the influencer space or the forex influencer space mm-hmm. right now as how to how people are just constantly following people to the next broker to the next yep. other thing to the mm-hmm. next other thing you know i think at some point we just get tired right now because you find that there are shops right now ib leaves there like takes everyone with them to the leaves there takes everyone to and i think mm-hmm. people continue to follow like mm-hmm. they continue to follow like some people like religiously following a where's a mang mang trader mm. gonna trade right now let's all go trade there yep it's a, becoming a cult now some sort of a cult look mm. I, I look at it like this to say as a, as an ib right remember you're responsible for not just educating people on trading they want to know which platform are you trading on yeah right and they trust because you're making profits here and you're getting your payouts that mm. it's a reliable platform yeah so therefore okay this is good but I also implore people to do their own research. Mm. Don't just also go following like a sheep. Do your research as well, um, you know, and see what you like in a broker. And you can have multiple accounts with different uh, yeah. shops, as yeah. you call them, yeah. right? Um, so if so-and-so keeps hopping from place to place, you might be happy at this shop now. Mm. I've had, I've seen people like that where it's like, no matter what you say to them, they're not going to move from that shop. Yeah. You know, uh, but then obviously there's those who also want to diversify their risk because they know here, maybe the withdrawals are faster or here, there's the spreads here are better on this particular thing. Mm. So depending on how you view things then, but yeah, look, I, I don't uh, necessarily co-sign the thing of hopping from store to store as, a, yeah. as the IP because mm. it just looks like you're all over the place and yeah. your clients start losing a bit of respect for you. Like, ah, it's another one. Yeah. Yeah. Next yeah. month, it's like, oh, we're expecting, they're even predicting, it's a forecast, right? <laughs> and then trend, this guy is going to do it again. Yeah. This, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, then they start talking like, nah, man, the, you, 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 you somewhat seem delusional. Like, why you keep going from, it's like you don't respect your clients. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. No, that's true. You know, like find a place that adds value, mm. real value, mm. and focus on that. To mm. say, does this add value to my clients or not? Do you like that platform or not? If you don't like the platform, it shouldn't be there. Yeah. Yeah. Because being an IB is not like you're a football player. <laughs> Moving from one team you to can't. another. Yeah, Anelka. I remember Anelka. Yeah, Nic- from, Nicolas, yeah, Nicolas, Nicolas Alabi, Alabi, yeah, he yeah. played for a lot of teams, mm. if yeah. not every team in the <laughs> Premier yeah. League. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's so that's so interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. So uh, you've you've been on the on the other side where you've seen uh, traders uh, obviously on the back end. You see yeah. how traders behave, mm-hmm. whatnot, and particularly South African market. You know. Yep. So when did you? Because you you said you were dealing with traders for quite a long time. When did you switch now and start dealing with? Was it recently? Recent. 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 Yeah. So, so I've dealt with so, traders most of my career. In yeah. The industry, yes. Obviously, we agreed with mention has yes. been the biggest killer of a lot of uh, guys. Mm-hmm. But what else can you say is like holding back uh, a lot of South Africans from being profitable? Okay, so it's being undercapitalized, not having mm-hmm. multiple streams, mm-hmm. greed, impatience. Um, I think these are the key things. Because I don't say skill set or knowledge, because a lot of these traders know their stuff. Mm. or they know enough to actually make profits they might not be on the highest level right but when it when it comes to making money in the long term yeah you know if you can tackle those elements i think you know you'd see much more profitable traders but we want it now yeah yeah this is the issue this is the big issue the killer Mm. If if we didn't have that element, uh, I mean, you'd see probably much better results. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying everyone would be profitable, but yeah. it would be way less of a bloodbath than it is, you know. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I still do understand where these people uh, come from because I was there myself, you know, yeah. and I flip an account. One of the first brokers I traded with, you know, hey, clients can be problematic. I was one of them, uh, and I, I'll tell you why. Uh, they had micro accounts, mm. right? So... When this was happening, my boy is trading at the other broker and it's got standard accounts. So that one is only micro accounts. This one's standard. So I'm like, but you guys are cheating. You're not making money. It's not moving fast. This thing. You know, I didn't understand. This is mm. education, mm. contract size. Yeah. We don't know these things. Like, mm. uh, I mean, you know what's a trend line. You know what's a stochastic. Yeah. You know support and resistance. You don't know contract size. Mm. You don't know as margin. You don't, mm. know, you don't know the important things where the, the money is now, you know. So I have come across this more especially with NASDAQ. A lot of, um, you know, misunderstandings. Yeah, you know, that, yeah. no, this broker doesn't pay much on this. Ah, this broker <laughs> pay. No, guys, it's contract size. They pay exactly the same. It's just the co- The one standard lot here is not equivalent to the one standard lot there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you have to multiply it. You know, you need to research these things. Therefore, you don't come across as ignorant when you say this thing doesn't make much money Mm. because it does come across as that way Mm. but then you know uh, and and also another thing just sorry on the educational part because the ask and bid thing i just want to quickly touch on it i've had guys say, no the candlestick uh was here why didn't it uh, hit take profit Mm. Mm. it's always an issue that one. Yeah, yeah. it's always an issue that one, <laughs> right yeah. or oh, the candlestick didn't touch here why did it hit stop loss so check spreads firstly yeah mm-hmm. and the candlestick wherever you see the candlestick that's bid price always mm. that's b yeah bid price a b a above b below sure. a b just keeping it simple so those who maybe have misconceptions mm. can actually understand so a b right and then when you buy you buy where at the ask you're buying from the sellers. Yeah, sure. When you sell, you sell to the buyers. Bid, you sell at the bid price. So just look at those things. So now if, let's say, you, the bid price goes up and your stop loss is here, ne? what's going to hit uh, the stop loss? The ask price. Yeah. Right? Before the bid. The ask, yes. Yeah. That's why if the candle was there or didn't touch the line, if the spread was just enough to touch it so this is i've literally had clients you know tell me i've been trading for 10 years you can't tell me about asking bid price you know yeah but you can be learning the wrong thing for 10 years it's possible mm. so i'm just uh, i'm imploring you know anyone who's in the industry just understand your fundamentals are basic basic yeah. knowledge is in the industry you, you 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 end up becoming maybe arrogant about the yeah. wrong knowledge mm, and then yeah. you teach that to the mm. next people now we've got a thousand <laughs> people saying the same story yeah it's wrong it's wrong that's yeah. true that's true you know i've been thinking about uh you know this uh same day withdrawal thing yes. when you're busy talking about the 
that that Nasdaq doesn't pay like this Nasdaq, yes. but we trade with this broker because mm. yeah. so we can get our profits same day. And yeah. I think that's the thing of the past now. Crypto has entered the chat. Yeah, exactly. Like crypto is really into the chat. Mm. So I, yeah, I, I really even the same day there within the hour there. Yeah. <laughs> within the hour, you don't. Yeah. Need, okay, so just to ex- put it to people, you know, because mm-hmm. obviously I think a lot of people are trading with local brokers. Mm-hmm. I'm not just saying don't trade with local brokers. Mm-hmm. Trade with Octa guys. Yes. <laughs> it's obvious. <laughs> it's obvious. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I'm just speaking to the whole uh, industry as a whole, you know, because yeah. I think a lot of people run to local brokers, uh, and accept service that is not of quality mm, yeah. because they pay same day withdrawals. And I think that is a selling point is dead in the water now. Yeah, Same yeah. day withdrawals are not a thing because guys, when you understand, go do some education about how to transact in Bitcoin. Don't go buy Bitcoin and sell it. Transact mm. in Bitcoin yes. or whatnot. Transact, and I promise you guys, the fees there are very low. Yeah. Like literally super low. Uh, and... Waiting really, time. Waiting well. times are also like amazing. Like within mm-hmm. the hour, I know, I know when I do transactions of Bitcoin, uh, but I'm slowly actually moving to Solana. Uh, Solana, yeah, because okay. it's faster and cheaper actually. Yeah. So, yeah, but you guys exactly do your research about these things, mm. and like because right now this thing of a broker, it's you coming and telling me, hey, you're gonna get same day withdrawal. What's the difference with an international mm. broker? You deposit in Bitcoin, you withdraw in Bitcoin. Look, oh, crypto. The, yeah. the, the, the brokerage space, more especially in South Africa, is yeah. one of the most competitive. Competition benefits the customer. Okay. Yeah. So back in the days, things weren't as good. Spreads were very high. Mm. Yeah. Uh, deposit minimums were high. Uh, you know, things were not as good, but the more, comp- I think competition is a good thing. Mm. And for the fact, like you've touched on that, I think, you know, they're on, you can say they're on the same level now, mm. uh, on a similar plane. Obviously, it depends on the resources the brokers have, but in a sense of the same day withdrawals, it's very hard to differentiate with certain things but mm. other things like the trading conditions the execution mm. you know yeah. did you manipulate my candlestick and you know all those things now these are the other things now as a trader you need to look into yeah. the stability how safe is my money mm. you oh. know how, how reputable is this institution uh, what are the reviews saying you need to do your own due diligence yeah mm. definitely yeah. i think that's the most important thing check the executions execution is key especially mm. if you're a scalper mm. that oh. little micro people used to pay millions of dollars for just access to faster uh, yeah. lines you know yeah. to mm. execute uh, back in the days uh, yeah like, yeah this is a very young industry so if you do your your research and there's information there you just check the accounts put in your minimum yeah. deposit execute c for yourself you mm. know what i mean that's what i'd say yeah mm. yeah yeah sure so let's say there's a beginner who's watching here and is like okay funny guys we hear you Mm -hmm. uh we have this and that within the industry what would be an ideal um community or mentor that one should look for um if they want to be sustained within the game Mm. that's a tough one i'd say you're your own best mentor yeah really because at the end of the day 10 of us can go to mentor a yeah, mm. five will be profitable. The other five, it's intrinsic. It's things inside mm. of you, your psychology. At yeah. the end of the day, it's the work you put in. Of course, there's different levels of quality. Do your due diligence. Does this person trade live? Mm. Are they okay to be on a public platform calling out trades, or do they are they hindsight all the time? So you see, I would have bought here. <laughs> yeah, it's all there. Yeah, that time there's or no before, and, before yeah. and, after. And, and just the before and after picture. Yeah. I mean. Uh, anyone can do a before and after picture. By the uh, way, trading view is very easy to do yeah. before and after. <laughs> Even now. Yeah. I mean, it's so pretty. Yeah. And, and, very easy and to do And if you and are susceptible to that, I mean, if you're new to the industry and you just see befores and afters, like I can just post that. You I mean, you can even do a social experiment one of those days, you know, to say you, you do the befores and afters and see how many followers you get and people wanting to pay for that course. Yeah. How do you trade? You can say, yeah, you see, the 20 art trade, Mm-hmm. Uh, here's a 16 r trade all these unrealistic things yeah, consistently yeah. you know if you're making 20 r all the time you know like how quickly you'll get to billions yeah. like 20 r consistently but it's never the case right mm. so i'd say someone who does trade live um uh, some form of a track record is, is ideal yeah. seeing other people's reviews on this individual mm. or entity i think these are some good things you can look out for but look i think 
it's okay to make a mistake. I've paid for many courses. I've been mm. disappointed myself. I think it's part of the learning curve, you know? Yeah. Then you're like, okay, I'll never, now you know what to look out for. How turns you're paying for courses. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <Paying> for courses. <laughs> I'm going to mention names. <laughs> no, no, uh, uh, mostly international courses. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, that, uh, YouTube and international mm. courses. And I mean, I, I did, um, you, you know the community in, in SA, most people would more especially back in the days you know steve morrow uh mm -hmm. beat the market yeah. maker yeah. btmm back up the brain <laughs> truck you know uh bt yeah bttm uh you know the m's and w patterns that's where most of uh or a big portion of the traders in sa come mm -hmm. from and then yeah. now there's the most popular and currently ict yeah you know you cannot and argue like, with those guys yeah <laughs> you uh, can't argue, you can argue with those you know, guys look for me at the end of the day no matter what style you trade if you're yeah. earlier wave trader or or godly patterns or whatever are you making profit this for me is the most important thing i've mm. seen people make money with moving averages mm -hmm. yeah i've seen people make money with ic2 and different things right because mm. when i have conversations with clients and find out like well, what strategy do you trade then we engage on that because mm. since i've bought all these courses i might as well put it to use to talk about <laughs> yeah. the course anyways you know uh, yeah. but at the end of the day it's just to say it comes down to psychology because you could trade moving averages. I trade moving averages. You mm. make money and I'm not making money. Yeah. You could be doing similar things. Or you just need to find basically where you sit in the realm of trading. Mm. You know? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, that's powerful. Yeah, let's talk about your trading as well. Yep. Let's, talk, let's talk trading. Let's, let's get a bit technical with it mm -hmm. as well. How's your trading? Uh, what's your trading style? Okay. What's your trading strategy as well? And then, yeah. Okay, I was once a strategy hopper. I oh, hopped yeah. from place to place, you know. Yeah. Um, but that was, I, I think, because I'm a perfectionist. Maybe some people will be able to relate to that. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. just wanting that sniper end. Yeah, yeah, but as a, as a perfectionist, where does it stop? Where does it? It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I understand. It yeah. doesn't stop. Yeah. You call, but then I, I finally found something which speaks to me. So I did study like most of these courses. So some of the things I incorporate, uh, mostly technicals. Mm. I do keep abreast of, you know, fundamentals, like when's the news events coming up. Mm. I'm currently not trading though. Like I've taken a bit of a break because I want to understand the current role I'm in first. But mm. um, when it comes to things like the technicals, one of my favorite things uh, is a smart money technique mm. right uh, i'll show on the whiteboard when you can get it out there yeah, yeah. So one, this is one of my favorite. Like I used to post WhatsApp statuses. You know those snap. Uh, are you, are you right-handed or left? Right-handed. 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 So. Uh, okay. Would we be able to? Because I wanted to put the board here this side. But okay. Right-handed, but it's fine. I'll make a plan. Make a plan. Yeah. Do you get me? Like this. Yeah. Okay. All right. Get your diaries ready. Your books ready. Okay. Ah, We're having options. a master class. Hey, see when there's options, I get confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So, very see, sim uh, simply put, the mic I'll, is, the mic oh, the mic. Let me just. Put it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, All right. Ah, that's better. Okay. So, oh, this is the camera, right? Okay. So, basically, uh, one of the things uh, I would look for, I'll touch on the instruments, but. I look at correlated pairs, highly correlated pairs. And then, you know, let's say you get like a, what we call a stop hunt on pair A. And then on pair B, you get like a swing failure pattern. This is very simple. Like some would call this like a turtle soup. Um, you know, those who see my WhatsApp status, this is where I'd usually enter on this um, you know, on the stop hunt. Very risky because you're literally selling a green candle or yeah. buying a red candle, right? But then this one is typically your safer entry because you can use fair patterns, fair value gap or whatever that you use that you're comfortable with. But this essentially is one of the, the key things uh, that I incorporate. And the same with the buy, you get your stop hunt and there's the swing failure. This is a very simple thing. I just wanted to draw it out so you can have a visual on it. All right. Then now just uh, touch on the instruments. Yeah, that was it. I just wanted to draw out these, uh, this M and W. Okay. And we can take it back. Okay. 
All right, and then let me just place this here. I, I think we're gonna ha- we're gonna start having a a whiteboard section se- uh, section <laughs> in each uh, episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm also thinking about it, yeah, so, so we give them like five minutes to showcase the strategy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. so now I just want to quickly touch on the yes. list of uh, in- instruments that. I personally saw this happens on. I learned this uh, from oh, Michael Huddleston, one of the things he teaches. So Ord CAD, uh, New Zealand CAD, Ord Swiss Franc, New Zealand Swiss Franc, Ord Yen, New Zealand Yen, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Euro Yen, Pound Yen, Euro Swiss Franc, uh, Pound Swiss Franc, Euro CAD, Pound CAD, um, and then Euro Australian Dollar, Pound Australian Dollar, Gold, Silver. Uh, what's the other one? Bitcoin. Ethereum, Litecoin, that's a trinity. You can use any of the two at a time or or have all three. And then NASDAQ, US 30, US 500. Can use as a trinity or however way. If check your charts, that's all I'll say. Check your charts. It's fract time is fractal. So it happens from like the monthly, which takes too long, uh, weekly, daily, even as low as the one minute. But one minute you get whipsawed quite a lot. So mm. I look at it minimum five minutes. All right. So that's one of the key things I incorporate in my trading. Um, and then, yeah, there was a time I was actually giving out signals myself. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But okay. I didn't charge for them. Oh. Wish I charged for them. <laughs> for eight months, uh, like there was a 72.9% strike rate. Um, oh over 100 trades given out you know sure. it's verifiable it's in real time you yeah. know it's stuff that i can always show you you know yeah uh, i like having something to back up <laughs> yeah, yeah what i'm saying <laughs> you know my yeah. account managers will tell you yeah. tell, i get nice <laughs> emails like hey you're in the top five percent of what so so in in terms of the trading side of putting the the time the mm-hmm. hard yards and that's why i'm able to tell someone get a job man it's much easier to trade knowing there's an income mm. stream you're mm. able to you're able to take time in learning yeah. you can even take a break from trading you don't always have to be trading yeah. mm. you don't important. always have to be That's trading so yeah. sometimes you need to take a break I watched one of the interviews where one of the people spoke about they took a break from it and came back sharper mm. right so that kind of thing you know sometimes learn how to Take a vacation maybe a month break mm. come back sharper maybe you'll see things differently mm. That's you know true. yeah you know, you look look at yourself like a uh, like a Goku. You know these guys; they put in the hard work before you become super saiyan. Yeah. You know, you put in work. You put in the work. You know, you can't become as even though uh, he's b- born as this. Um, you know, those who don't know anime, um, like he's born as this. You know, powerful entity. Yeah. If he didn't train. Mm. he'd never be able to see that blonde hair maybe yeah. if he dyed it <laughs> <laughs> another, another, another significant mental but the, yeah but the strength the strength <laughs> wouldn't come with it <laughs> and you, you you're basically, just screaming basically, for no reason you just painted a picture of the significant <laughs> so so do the hard work yeah uh, no comment on that uh, do the hard work <laughs> Do the work, <laughs> yeah. and super you will re- you'll you'll become when oh, the the moment of becoming a super saiyan in trading is when the charts start looking clear, like mm. things start making sense, yeah. you know. And and you don't stop at super saiyan. There's levels to mm, this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Two, two, you understand? <laughs> so you keep saiyan. doing your work. This <laughs> this saying. this is back testing. <laughs> this is journaling. Yeah, people don't speak much about those things, yeah, but it's important yeah. to know. Look, you know, without hindsight, you can't have foresight. Yeah. Mm, so it's yeah. okay to have hindsight, but not in a way to say this is a trade I took, but to mm. say this is the thing that repeats so often. Yeah, because it repeats so often, I want to catch it in real time now. Mm. Test yourself. Ideally, try catch it on the one minute chart because a one minute chart, why I like it is it happen time is fractal. Mm. It will happen more often. Mm. right and then you find your you know your time frame you're comfortable with but you need to train your eyes to this thing when yeah. it's happening in real time because you've seen mj mm. i'm sure mm. like hey the strategy when you're looking back you're like oh we've made it yeah mm. we've done <laughs> yeah but yeah. you ever blown an account so bad you start looking at the classifieds <laughs> like yeah. jobs you yeah. blown accounts that bad yeah. <laughs> you know so so uh, obviously do the hard work this thing is not easy Mm. And I, I want people to stop selling that thing of this thing is easy. It's, it, it actually takes work, mm. just like anything, you know, give it its time. But it's one of the most rewarding industries. The barriers to entry are so low. Mm. 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 
mm. the only person you can blame really is yourself if you That's keep so getting harmed really it's like there's so much information like in terms of scams and what to avoid yeah. but you some some people are just attracted to it you know but I, what i hope though is that from that one thing you learn and you don't repeat it and you know i've seen people who get tainted so bad they say this whole industry is a scam and that's mm. that's the most reckless statement you can make yeah yeah Speaking of breaks, um, yeah. I, I know people are, learn a lot from us, but I think this is my time to also learn from you guys because I know you've taken a break as well from trading. Yeah, you've done that as well. Mm -hmm. There's one thing I struggle from. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I need a rehab. Uh, <laughs> my wife and I we fight about this Sorry. a lot. Yeah. I I think the most time I've ever taken that break from trading was like eight days. <laughs> That's not a break. <laughs> As a recess. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a small break. Yeah, so you back at it again. Yeah, I, yeah. I struggle. Really? I, I I don't know. It, why did you take the initial break? Or what's your why? My wife forced me. Oh, you were forced. You see, it wasn't you. Yeah, it wasn't that's me. The like problem. I, I I really like you know what is alostro? <laughs> okay. Um having this um you know shivering from mm. one to take. Mm. I'm suffering from that. Oh, man. Like I I When I wake up, I want chat. Yes, yes. <laughs> like you guys are missing. Here's an income stream. Yeah. Therapists. And yeah, 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 yeah. If, if you are niche, niche if there's, for there's trainers, a niche for this, yeah. so yeah, guys, if you are watching and you can help me with this, I'm going to get. I'm firstly going to get advice here. I'm gonna put it into play. If it doesn't work, I'm more than willing to buy your your course. If yeah. there's a course, if there's so, a course to abstain from trading, yeah. So look on my side why this you need to look at your why as to why taking a break mm, yeah. mm. i think in my seven years in the industry i've probably this is the second break i've taken mm. the, um or oh wait third the other two was the blown accounts you blow it so bad <laughs> you don't have a choice like, you don't have a choice <laughs> <laughs> the account decides for you. Yeah. You're taking a break now, but yeah. yeah, it's time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But now it was just to say I'm 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 honing a skill, mm -hmm. and it needs my time. I need That's to true. put in put in my all in honing That's the skill. True. Yeah. But I know I'm, I'm always checking the charts daily. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. abreast of what's happening. Uh, you know, I'm seeing the setups happening, and you know, is that little yeah. voice there saying you could have made money today? <laughs> see, look at your oh, life. Oh, but I, I see, see where he's going with this. I think I'm 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 announcing it or I'm saying it wrong. Mm. Okay. Um, not not necessarily taking trades. No. Mm. But but what I'm saying is like away from the charts. Yeah, altogether. away from the charts. Like mm. just I don't want to see. But if you love it, you love it. It's so okay. My, it's okay I mean, to look at them. If you're not reckless yeah. in the trading, yeah. I don't think it's an issue. Yeah. No. Most time I'm on it. It's not like I'm taking trades. Mm. Like I, I could be back testing. I yeah. could be just looking at the charts. Put it. You just. I just want to see myself on the mouse. <laughs> just. I want to do something there. Ish. You know. Not necessarily taking trades. But I don't think that's a problem. Man. Nah. It's not. That's I don't think. I think yeah. it becomes. When you become reckless with the trading, that's oh, yeah, where, like, the, yeah. like like Babong is, is saying, okay, yeah. he took breaks because of blown accounts. Yeah. I've also had back in my period when you I was at you don't yeah. even want to hear that empty for sound. Yeah. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that, when you hear it, it triggers <laughs> you. <It's> like, <"Come." laughs> I remember the first time, the first break I took, uh, yeah. it was a GJ trade. Ah, GJ has uh, broken many day, hearts. Eh? And that day I was I was I was, I was still uh, I was still at home. I was at home. I knew this Forex thing must work now. Oh, <laughs> I need to go out. I need to yeah. move out. No, actually, I'm, I, actually, I'm not. Uh, I was still. No, I was at school. Sorry, it's a different time. I was at school, but I was also trading. And at school, they knew I'm trading. And whatnot. Yeah. So Ish, I remember I we went going that. into school every day. So I was traveling to school. So I remember there was one day I was still at home. I threw in a chat. I threw in some uh, trades there on GJ. Yeah. I I spent the whole day in bed after I saw the morning, <laughs> and then I was forced hey, to take a break from there because I'm a student. Will, will yeah. make you bedridden. Yo, <laughs> I for yeah. real. Yo, if you don't watch out, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know what. I think we have this thing of we don't like being wrong as mm. people, right? Mm. This is one of the things that it's also another killer. Yeah. I didn't touch on yeah. not being wrong. Mm. <laughs> so I'll explain why. Being a perfectionist, whether you're perfectionist or not, right? Mm. This thing of seeing blue. Mm. it's addictive so yeah. here's what happens or what i've seen happen to myself and others you take a trade um let's say you buy euro dollar you go 10 pip draw down your stop losses at 20 pips mm -hmm. end of the day you've moved it to 100 pips <laughs> right because you don't want to be wrong yeah that if it so happens to go two pips into profit what will you do you'll close the trade yeah, yeah. right so 
I understood this concept to say we hate being wrong. Oh. And that's why I see people taking five pip take profits sometimes, <laughs> but 50 pip drawdown, that, that is bad. <laughs> Over time, you will lose money, right? Mm. Statistically speaking, these are the numbers saying it. So if you can mm. divorce yourself from wanting to be right, mm. Mm. there's this thing I heard or I saw online. They're like, do you want to be right or do you want to make money? Mm. Mm. So you need to first answer that question. Mm. If you want to make money, then understand stop loss hit is stop loss hit, Bob. Mm. This thing is all about statistics. In the signals I gave out, the 100, right? Um, but there were like two streaks of five losses in a row. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a probabilities game as well as, you know, you've done the work, you know, you've got your age. But if someone paid, let's say if I was doing paid, which I wasn't, right? Mm. Um, and they pay for that month, like, I just scammer this one. Mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. but this was eight months worth it's like a hundred trades over eight months yeah, you yeah. understand so it's just to say there are streaks of losses you need to understand this mm. understand out of a thousand trades there's no way maybe you won't have five or even ten losses yeah. in a row yeah. and this is where risk management comes in now if you're risking ten percent twenty percent will mm. you survive a streak mm. yeah. that's why i said yeah. we've got good traders but the way they're managing their trades yeah. is bad Mm. So if you, I mean, a five uh, streak loss, for example, one of the things I saw online of how to manage loss uh, streak losses is to half your risk per loss. So your oh, equity yeah. curve slows down. Mm -hmm. So you're not going on a fast downhill. Yeah. Yeah. But then you can also scale up in as much as you scale down. But this maybe you can do on another account or you can just have a fixed risk. Mm one of the two options mm, mm. but the equity curve on the one where if you've got 10 losses so instead of one percent 10 times over you know it's compounded losses now, mm. but they're compounding down because it's less one percent each time yeah. right but you can half your risk maybe to 0 0.5 or 0 0.25 at the lowest as an example mm. and your you coming back up will be much easier because you'll get back to your winning streak mm. if you've got an edge that is yeah yeah so i think traders need to be uh, measured on overall performance yes. uh, more than single trades. Imagine we yeah, yeah. Me measured United on one game, you know. We need to <laughs> measure it. Okay, bad example. As a yeah, I think it's player. a better <laughs> example because their overall performance is... <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at a, a successful team kind, like a city, for example. Yeah. Although I don't like them, but they're successful, right? So with city, if we measure them on a loss as opposed to the whole season, yeah. you understand? It's like a myopic view. You need to yeah. look at it across, you know, the whole season. Same with mm. trading. You can't look at one trade or three trades or five trades. Mm. Yeah. It's it's a career. This thing, or it's over a year or over a quarter. You need to look at quarterly performance, mm. monthly, mm. not daily. Because you will, you will win at some point. <laughs> and you will at, lose. At, at, but yeah. at some point, Chiefs does. <laughs> <laughs> that team. I don't know why we got into it, but it's fine. <laughs> By the way, I'm, I'm a fan of Jason Jeeves. That's why yeah, I'm not just spoken, making... Spoken like a true supporter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm head, man. I'm head. I I, think... I'm a fan of yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, you are. I'm a Paris <laughs> fan. But you are a Manchester fan as well. Yeah, those are so, the only But two. at least you yeah. balanced. Yeah, yeah, so that is a you're, good you, balance. Yeah, you, I think of, you are one is to one. Yeah, yeah one is to one. Because <laughs> what I found is that Kaiser Chiefs fans are usually... Um, Manchester. Manchester Same United here. fans. Same yeah. here. Yeah. And it's sometimes... Because at, at one point, I was a Suskukune United fan. Serious? I, I mean, come on, come on. After seeing that overall performance of Chiefs, you wouldn't want to you know, change it. And we won one game, went back to Chiefs and Chiefs. And went back to... Hey. Yeah. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so right now, uh, you you deal with IBs right yep. now. Um, uh, what, are, what are some of the most ridiculous requests you have received from ibs look um i'll try simplify it because it hasn't been many but yeah people who just want upfront payment and just don't do the work you know yeah you come and say mj i need x amount from you yeah uh, then i'll do one two and three um and they don't do it that for me is and i think uh this happens across the board there's guys who actually do that um mm. you know uh, for me i find that ridiculous because you tarnish your name in the mm. long run. but mm. we live but we live but we live in the land of uh upfront payments <laughs> Pay me now. Do your day. Maybe. There's no guarantees. Yeah, but I suppose yeah. in those instances, I yeah. think it's if it's on that level, 
Uh, cause I know uh, whatever structure we've got as top traders, say yep. it's a it's an upfront thing because we understand the media space within, but we've also built a brand of trust yeah. all yes. the time. So I think and it, value. Yes. Remember, I t- talked on value. Yeah. Yeah. If you're someone who's bringing value, but if you're not bringing any value and you just all you bring is promises, uh, if we get paid for promises, now me I'll make promises. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 I mean, you need to do something. I think you look at uh, what co- what what value are you bringing to whatever institution in any field. Mm. You know, that's the most important thing, mm. and you'll get paid for it. And people talk in the industry; it's a small industry, a very one. small industry. You mm-hmm. know, uh, I'll know that yeah. you spoke to so and so. I'll know of it, and it's okay. It's not to say yeah. don't. It's business. You need to find the best deal for yourself, yeah. and yeah. it's it's okay. But what I'm saying is, you know, just don't be all over the place, mm. you know, and do uh, things that are like ethically questionable, you know, yeah. like your ethics, you say, ah, oh, yeah. you know, for the, it's hard to clean that up. Yeah. Over time, 10 years later, you'll regret, man. You'll look back and you'll maybe have to go into another industry, get a yeah. job. Maybe, yeah. You know? yeah. Sometimes the brokers are also at fault here because if you're looking yep. at a person's track record and they can't provide you a proper track record from the previous shop or just overall mm. looking at a person's profile and you're just seeing eight different brokers there and somehow you just want to insert yourself. Mm. So so that's the thing. Some of these uh, individuals have silver tongues, you know, like foxes, you know, that's how they, some of them get lines. You know, yeah, they yeah, 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 yeah. tell them, no, this time is different. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and give that's me a life. chance. With la- in life, <laughs> yeah. you know, let's let's just use an example. Like some some person could be known as a bad boy, mm. right? But the ladies maybe they'll still give him a chance. <laughs> no, I'll change you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll yeah. change this guy. Yeah. You know, yeah. me, I'm different. I'm not different. So yeah. I understand. So I think it's just human nature. You just mm. think maybe that's the, that was the last time. Mm. I know. Yeah, because this IB deals, man, they've become like wedding vows. Eighty <laughs> percent of the things that are said on the altar we don't normally do. <laughs> That's a high percentage, man. <laughs> 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 we normally do what we say on the altar. <laughs> Till death do us apart. <laughs> Till death do us apart. Yeah. yeah, but look yeah. at the divorce rate now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's, high. Yeah. it's very high, man. Yeah, and it's... I know at the time of this, it would have been almost a month by the time uh, what I told you guys today that a lot of uh, IBs left a particular shop. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah. So now, since they left that shop, the the cars. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get somebody who's well educated or well informed, mm. right? Yeah, because <laughs> on, like on that the, information. Because oh yeah, because <laughs> I wanna know like the cars are going back or the the, the colors are. I I think now we'll see who 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 actually owns the cars. Oh it, yeah. I think now you, a lot you, a lot it, will be a. You know, whilst you're on that topic, yeah, I yeah. think one of the biggest issues is that the clients create the ib business and i'll tell you what i mean by mm. that they influence it right so if you are attracted to 123 yeah. that's what's going to start being sold to you mm. if you are buying a course because so and so is driving such and such yeah you have created that person mm. Mm. i know people um or this one particular individual back in the days got a specific car i won't say the car because now you know uh, but he got a car <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, and his business boomed mm. because of the car. Ex girlfriends are calling, you know. Mm. It was mm. only it was a lease car at the time, and which is not a problem. But it's just to say, just that notion or perception that you are able to be a success. This is a tangible material mm. material thing. You did this. Now I believe you more. You come there. Maybe you don't. You have the skill set, but you don't have the car. Maybe you driving a beat up car, a 50 to 100K value car, but you're skilled. Mm-hmm. They'll say you're boring, man. You know? Mm-hmm. You, so do, do the retail guys not create these people because yeah. you are saying someone with the skill who mm-hmm. doesn't have tangible stuff is not valuable, but yeah. because you've got the supercar and you're renting a mansion in such a place, yeah. you know, uh, I'll buy your course. You you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm give, uh, someone could come and give you value. Because there's some very good traders out there. But yeah. the, the issue is you want the fast life. You want it fast. You want it now. So mm. I'd say my personal opinion is that these people are created by or what they do is 
dictated mm. by the client. Mm. Oh. Because if no one buys the thing anymore, you'll start changing. You'll start maybe putting in the work mm. more on the other side. Yeah, and that's so true. Because sometimes you could be having a free Zoom session, eh? Uh, no, no, <laughs> no, no Zoom so, <laughs> and you are you are you are you are in your element. Yep. Yeah. You are teaching by that time, mm. and people are just asking you know important questions. And you'll just have that one random guy. The hand will be up, the electronic one. <laughs> And you're like, yeah, Bongani, come, come in. And it's like, yeah, say so MJ, for the sake of motivation, <laughs> what do you drive? <laughs> oh, I kid you know, that yeah. what we, that's what we normally see. Mm. Yeah, during a very important lesson, by the way. Yeah. Because we want to be motivated. Nah, nah. You see us driving them. Mind the pan. Yeah. See, that's what's going <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. This so is true. Yeah. Oh, they want to see your because one guy also asked me is like because I I normally do guys by the way I also do no, live trading. If you don't know this, join my free Telegram group. Almost every day we trading mm. London, New York. We trading live. Mm. So this guy was like, yeah, hey, you know what, MJ, for the sake of motivation again, mm. show us like your different accounts balances <laughs> and then and I was like, okay, fine. This is what I'm willing to do. I'm going to show you my balance. If you can also go to PKMP and ask them for their books. Mm. And see their balance. And it's like, ah, but you know they won't do that. And it's like, because and I said, why? I said, because it's a business. I said, same, yeah. It's the business. same, it's the same thing. Because you know, I don't think there's a problem showing showing people your balances, your withdrawals, you know, for the sake of motivation. But I think we also need to be careful of why we do that. Mm. Is it to motivate them? Because the money that normally mentors would trade, true mentors, people that are following them, they don't have the same money. That's why um, mm. during the week, because um, I know this is dropping April, I wanted to put like on the Octa account, $25, just to have a feel of what people are going through trading that $25. Because if you, if you know what they're going through, it's easy for you to advise them to say, look, my guy, with this $25, this is what I see. Try at least get a job. <laughs> yeah, no, that's it. That's yeah, 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 Look, man, the first time I traded a decent size account, it felt liberating. Mm. Mm. It's a liberation. Yeah, no, that's and true. I, I'm told, like real funds, you know, um, as opposed to the smaller accounts, it's really, it's, it's, it's a different feeling, man, when you know that, okay, this is me now. One thing that uh, I would just say, um, if I leave people with anything, is just avoid this greed element and avoid this thing of not wanting to be wrong. Because even in some of my best tricks, this is where you're actually vulnerable to losing the most money. Mm. You know? Because you are, you know, if you write 20 trades in a row, do you know yeah. how you feel invincible? You're invincible. So trade 21. Super mm. Saiyan. Even if it's in lockdown. <laughs> Super Saiyan. Last 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 and, and Super Saiyan, <laughs> he's been whooped a few times as well. So yeah. just yeah. because he can still get whooped. <laughs> Kame, what, what is it called? Kamehameha. 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 Yeah. yeah, you know, so so basically, you know, you you used to being right for so long. This can mm. also be a, one of the biggest stumbling blocks because now you start adding trades. Mm. Uh, I've had clients, you know, and I, 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 it's not something I, I think is a good thing to do, but I do understand, you know, if you're in that zone, why you do it, but I don't co-sign this. Mm. Whereas, let's say I'm in, I'm trading a, let's say, 50K account, you know, I'm in 20K drawdown, I'm in 40K drawdown, I deposit another 50 mm. I go into... 80k drawdown. Mm. There's people who have that type of money. They keep yeah. deposit. Yeah. They mm. don't want to be wrong. Mm. If you cut your stop loss at your initial 5k stop loss, you'd be just okay. Yeah. Now you're angry at your wife. You're angry at the kids. You know, yeah. you don't Kicking wanna, your dog. the jokes are no longer funny. You know, yeah. Everything is dark. So it's just to say this thing can affect your mood. Mm. You get. So it's just a thing of uh, you just really need to avoid that element. It's just something I want to drill into people. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, no, they cool. Yeah, and you know, I bumped into a kid. Uh, uh, yeah, a kid. Uh, I bumped into a lot of people. You mm-hmm. know, and usually I have conversations with them because they're like, "Hey, YouTube," and then just ask about the trade. And uh, this one guy was like, "Nah," and then he wants to join that that other that purple movement that mm-hmm. side. He wants to join them. So I'm like, I'm curious. I'm like, why? Mm-hmm. Uh, he literally said it straight up. He's like, "No, nah, it's not. A, it's not even about the trading." No, like uh, lifestyle. He's like literally, it's just lifestyle. Mm. Guy, some people game. are buying yeah. lifestyle. Yeah, and and some people are okay with buying lifestyle. And I think a lot of people need <laughs> to understand. Find out fast. It's not the life you buy. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, wow. and he just said like, uh, he's like, nah. But and uh, his reasons for wanting to join was so sound. I was like, okay, no, I, I completely mm. understand. You know, it wasn't because he knew. It was like, no, nah, it's not even about the trading. What yeah. what trading? Most of them don't don't even trade there. But it's like, nah, what to join that particular movement is going to put them in a different place because why? It's it's an exclusive movement of some sort. So you know? people suffer from sense of belonging. Mm. They want to belong to something mm-hmm. in order for them to feel good about themselves. Yeah. That's why that's why a lot of profitable, real profitable traders, people will actually see them as boring individuals. Yeah, I mean, it's not exciting, man. <laughs> yeah, it's not really. exciting to make money for some people. Yeah, they, like, they want to like, see, look like they're making it rather than actually yeah. make it. Because, because, guess it's boring. Exactly. Because yeah. remember, we spoke about how they 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 are underground. You don't know much about them. Because mm. there's nothing interesting to showcase about their lifestyle. Mm. They're boring like that. Mm. But the bank accounts are not. <laughs> They can actually take their families out and do exciting things, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think for me, that's exciting. As a family man, it's like, Mm. that's the type of thing I'd want to buy into. You know, someone who's actually, uh, you know, whether you're a family man or not, but that's where I'm at right now. So that's something that will speak to me. You know, someone Mm. can show like, no, this is how how I do my thing as a trader. I'd buy into that. But anything that's like fast paced, I think, you know, at where I'm at phase in life, I've passed that. But Mm. I do understand those who are there because mm. I come from that mm, so yeah. it's understandable why they start off there because it looks so exciting mm. you know and you just want to be out of that situation you're in and you're like this is a fast way out the 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 right way is a boring and long path it's boring and yeah. long it's, it's boring so and it boring. takes time and you said this before and a lot of people were not happy yeah no, <laughs> were not happy. you said trading is boring and it makes it boring be, as well but consistency it should, be. should be boring yeah, though yeah. if you're excited you still have some some way to go like if, pro, if profits excite you you still have some way to go no, yeah. and that is true yeah. though because mm. that means nine times out of ten yeah? if mm. profits excite you it means that the opposite end would have you distort because Ooh, why you so over leveraging yeah. nine times out of ten no, yeah. i'm excited by an amount it's like yo i shouldn't be seeing this type of money yeah. right now but i'm seeing it you know what i mean yeah. so yeah that, that's psychology guys that's the psychology that's so powerful eh? yeah if money is excited if the profits are exciting you mm. Means you're over leveraging most likely. Yeah. And a lot of people are really excited with their blue screens on social media right now. Have, yeah. you, have you ever seen um, b- uh, when when we started off, we mm. take screenshots. So there's a group of us, three yeah. four of us, when we started off, we take screenshots of trades running in profit. <laughs> so the other time we took screenshots whilst it was in profit, mm. and then obviously you know how the story goes. It mm. went into the red. We closed it in red. So other guys are asking, "Oh, how did that trade go?" You know, because we sent screenshots. We were in the blues. Mm. <laughs> so I was thinking, man, imagine an EA. As soon as you take a screenshot, it just closes your trades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Just close because yeah. that is probably the peak. That yeah. peak excitement. Yeah. This gentleman has a lot of ideas. <laughs> yeah. And I'm rooting them down, by the way. Yeah, I, 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 for, to, I haven't forgotten about the ping. I want to, <laughs> idea by, by the restaurant. Yeah. yeah. No. You can yeah. buy it. We've got the software somewhere. Just buy it from us. It? Don't build it. Just buy it. <laughs> oh, no. We'll have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, that's actually quite smart. Though. The moment yeah. you screenshot, close the Because yeah. yeah. I can tell you now, a lot of people with, yeah. the, with the hey, hey, blue screens, hey, yeah. hey, on yeah. social media, after they've taken the screenshot, I shame. Hey. We must immediately close. This is a sign. <laughs> yeah. It's a sign from South to close that in. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> can we get this um, EA bots to we we talk to them like Siri? No, that would be cool. No, I but think I in think future. the introduction of AI right yeah. now is it's it's very yeah. 
let me get your thoughts on that you know yeah. and as much as you've been involved in the in the ea space mm-hmm. you know what what are your thoughts right now especially with ai being so popularized right now i think that's one of the critical skills especially someone on the come up or anyone in general learn that skill learn how to use your chat gpts and your gemini's it's no longer called bot it's gemini now yeah. uh, the google one so i okay. think uh get into those things um you can use those tools to enhance your trading as well you know yeah learn how to make utilize it's a it's a it's a enhancer i look at them as enhancers mm. they can't replace the skill mm-hmm but they can help you maybe shortcuts with certain things. If you mm. do know how to code, there are coders who actually utilize those platforms to yeah. fast track the development. Mm. But you as a non-coder, you you can try, but I've tried it. It, <laughs> it didn't yeah. create what I wanted it to create. <laughs> I, saw, I saw lines of code, and then yeah. when I did it, uh, MT4 was telling me error codes, like, no, yeah. this thing is wrong. That's that's why you pay the bucks to the guys who yeah. actually put in the work. Mm. You know, so it's not like a complete replacement, but it can be an enhancer. I think if mm. you use them as an enhancer, it's a great, great tools, great tools, this AI stuff. And there's more tools coming out. But when I say get into it, maybe be the one in the next five years developing those tools. Mm. You know, things that you want to have yourself now. Maybe you're the one, when you have that game, maybe it was you who's meant to build it. Mm. Yeah. You know? So yeah. I've got an idea, but I won't say it. <laughs> Let me eat first. <laughs> yeah. The story of every single mentor in SA. Yeah. 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 You don't say too much. Don't don't say say too much. much. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, what are your... Okay, so in five years' time, yep. uh, what? where do you see the industry? Where do you think the industry will be in, the, in five years' time? I see it maturing. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to be a very mature crowd. Um you know, I'm just trying to, uh, you know, obviously not shoot myself in the foot with where I see it as well. Yeah. Yeah, prophetically. But, but, yeah. Yeah, prophetically. No, it's, it's just your yeah. vision. Obviously, yeah, just, some people, you know, maybe yeah. maybe now if it gets there, we can come back to this video For right sure. now and be like, yeah, no, I, I, see, it. I yeah. see a much more mature industry, smarter clients, um, mm. IBs focusing on their craft. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I just see people actually sitting down and focusing. I mean, we come from far. Um, mm. This industry comes from far. And I see I see a future where people will stop this thing of saying I'm a Forex trader, but you're trading mm. NASDAQ. No, you, you're trading <laughs> indices. <laughs> you yeah. know, like just, just understanding the, the business behind it and understanding those small little things, you yeah. know. I just see growth because it's access to, to so much information and people will stop being as lazy mm. once you've been scammed you stop being lazy well you don't have a choice <laughs> yeah really or some people maybe they'll uh, it'll take a couple of times they might give up but those who stay will have a much cleaner industry um this is what i forecast i see a lot of maturity and growth mm. that's I, I actually look forward to it and then the new batch is not going to be like before you know because mm. there's so much knowledge things that people are i mean there was a time where people were buying meta trader as a software hey, for 25k hey, 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 yeah hey. Yes, yes, i'll install it for you hey. those people made a killing yeah. but mm. now people have learned so there's people who sold baby pips courses yeah mm. for like for selling you know other side things yeah. for for so much but now this information is available freely Mm -hmm. it's just to say do your due diligence don't be lazy but this industry will mature as long as you just stick it out just give it time yeah because we we you know ideally you want those who are here now to stay yeah because if they leave then the same things are going to repeat most likely you know but those who've learned and been burnt learn and Mm. teach each one teach one you know yeah pass on the knowledge really that's so that's that's the the ideal my ideal view in yeah. the next five years much more uh, uh you know the solid um, yeah. type of industry yeah. yeah amen to that yeah and amen people making that. money with multiple revenue streams yeah that's also another thing i see yeah i'm hoping you know just i want to see people making money i want to see developers coming from SA. you mm. know and there's a lot of institutions you can get in there's this other uh, institution for for ladies girl code something mm-hmm. girl code uh, mm. sa uh, it's a free institution where you can learn python and all these other things yeah. you know there's different institutions where you can learn these things so i just want to see people understand the business of trading Mm. to say this thing is much bigger than i thought 
It's, yeah. it's not just your, um, you know, your account and the profits you make from there. There's very various ways. So find your skill set, what values you have, see your network and networking skills and see yeah. how you make money. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And that's that for today, guys. Let yes, me sir. tell you something. Man. Whenever I'm on a call with Babongile, it's usually like half hour calls. Yeah. I can, like, it Still keeps going. <laughs> like, it just yeah. keeps going and yeah. going and go. And I know we, we, we could we could go on for mm. maybe another hour or so. Because yeah. like, just always having conversations with you, for bro, sure. is always so good. Like, yeah, and, and I love the, the personality as well. Yeah. And like the humbleness and also all the willingness to just give as well. Yeah. You know? And guys, hit up Babongile if you need a hot, fresh deal. You know how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for for having me here. Yeah, uh, yeah. I really appreciate it, man. Yeah, no, no, thank you. It's myself, Nubli Tembani. MJ Givens Hasi with our guest, Bean Tuli. <laughs> <Being Dooley. laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll see yeah. you guys same time, same place next week, and we out. Uh, nice one, Jess. Yeah.